This is a CCEA AS Pure Maths exam, and this one's from May 2022. And we're going to take a wee look here then at question six. F of x equals qx cubed minus 7x squared plus r, where q and r are constants. F of x has a factor of x plus 1. When f of x is divided by 2x plus 1, the remainder is 7. Find the values of q and r. So if f of x is a factor of x plus 1, that means f of minus 1 must equal 0. So that means if I substitute in minus 1 then for x. So minus 1 cubed gives me minus 1 obviously. So I end up with minus q. Minus 1 squared gives me 1. So it's going to be minus 7 plus r. And we're told then that that equals 0. Uh, rearranging that. Uh, let me see what's our best way of writing it. Uh, minus q plus r equals 7. I suspect we're going to get two equations to on the one here. So we'll have this one here, then that's going to be f of minus a half. So f of minus a half equals 7. So minus a half cubed gives me minus an eighth. So that's then going to be minus an eighth q minus a half squared that gives me a quarter so that's minus 7 over 4 plus r and that then gives me 7. I don't like the fractions here I'm going to multiply through everything then by 8 so I'm going to get minus q minus times through that through by 8 then gives me 14 plus 8 r equals 56 and that gives me then minus q plus 8r add the 56 and that and I get 70 and that then is equation 2. If I subtract these two if I do this we'll just write out one below it to make it a bit more straightforward plus r is equal to 7 that's equation 1 and if I do 2 take away 1 the q's disappear and I get 7r equals 63 and that means r is 9 uh, if that's 9 that gives me minus q is minus 2 and that means q then is 2 so find the values of q and r factorize fully then the expression f of x so looking at the previous page so my f of x the q we've just worked out is 2 so it's 2x cubed minus 7x squared plus 9 and I now then have to factorize that fully but I know that x plus 1 is a factor right? so I don't need to use the factor theorem then to kind of get anything I can just do my long division straight away so we know x plus 1 is a factor so I'm going to do my long division now so if x plus 1 and be careful here 2x cubed minus 7x squared plus 0x remember the x term there plus 9 x into this gives me 2x squared times this by this 2x cubed plus 2x squared taking those away I get minus 9x squared and I bring down then my 0x. So x into this gives me minus 9x. Minus 9x times this gives me minus 9x squared minus 9x. This take away this gives me 9x plus 9. Substitute that into that. Sorry, x into 9x is then plus 9 and um, that times that gives me 9x plus 9 encouragingly and that then gives me 0. So that means f of x equals x plus 1 upon 2x squared minus 9x plus 9 
and now people have different ways of kind of factorizing this wee bit here some people like to do the two times a nine to give you 18 and split your middle term totally fine and uh, whatever way you want to do it uh, but i'm just going to try and split it up into two factors by taking a wee look here so it's going to be 2x and x and then i'm trying to make a nine here with these kind of two terms here so if i go three and three i think some sort of form of that is going to do it i just need to think about it so three and six and we want a minus so if we make both of those minus then that's what we're looking for and on then to part three hence solve this okay so hopefully this is going to be somehow then related to this and you can kind of see that that's the case so i'm going to rearrange this as two upon two to the y cubed that's using my rules of indices there so y times three because you multiply those so that gives us that minus seven two to the y squared plus nine equals zero if i um then let two to the y equal x then i have 2x cubed minus 7x squared plus 9 equals 0 and in the previous question we just factorized that so we know those factors then are going to be x plus 1 2x minus 3 and then x minus 3 so that gives me a value of x is minus 1, x is 3 over 2, and x then is 3, x is 2 to the y, so 2 to the power of y equals minus 1, that's not possible, so there's no solution there. Um, let me see. 2 to the y is equal to 3 over 2. So I can solve that. I can take logs of both sides. So I can go for log 2 to the y is log 3 over 2. y log 2 is log 3 over 2. So y is log. 3 over 2 divided by log 2 and substitute that into your calculator I have it on good authority to answer that is 0 0.585 my final one then I'm going to a bit of work about here but that's okay um, 2 to the y is 3 again logs of both sides so we have log 2 to the y is log 3 y log 2 is log 3 y log 3 over log 2 again substitute that in your calculator just do this one hopefully you can see it so we're going to do log 3 divided by log Two. Of course, you can do it as a big fraction. That's fine. You get one point five eight. So there's my two possible solutions. That one can't have a solution, but I have a solution of that and that.